Yes, but these are little vintage McDonald's transformers. Uh, fun little items. These do pretty good. Um, price these kind of high. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to talk to you about 41 Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These items I sold on Poshmark, and I sell hard goods on Poshmark. So, this is not a clothing video, hard goods. If you don't know and you're not Sorry, I shook the desk. If you don't know and are not selling hard goods over on Poshmark, it is a great platform. Um, I mostly sell on eBay and then cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. But uh, Mercari has been doing really good. Or I'm sorry, Poshmark has been, re been really good lately. All right, we are going to start with the first item here. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. This little guy right here. Um, this was a toy bundle. So what that means is somebody has bundled these items and I saw that they bundled and I sent them an offer for $80. So Poshmark takes 20%. And then when you send an offer, you have to send discounted shipping. So my earnings after Poshmark took their cut was $64 for these five items. So let's talk about the five items. Uh, this is a vintage 1994 Crusading Charmelon Bandai action figure, the Tick Cake Topper. This came out of a dibble box, which is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. But this one was actually a toy box. And these were new old stock items with damaged packaging that I bid on at an auction, on a YouTube auction. And what I did was I took the items out of the damaged packaging and listed them that way. I purchased this lot from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. I will have her link down below. I also have a video that shows you everything I got in that box. It was an amazing box. Definitely going to make lots of money on it. All right. So this item sold. Um, I'm sorry. This was the bundle. So this first item here. And then we got this guy from 1983. It's vintage, the A-Team Hannibal action figure. And I don't remember where I got him. Uh, I pick up toys all the time from estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores. This was probably something. It may have been in a toy box from Auctions for You, who is another YouTuber that I purchase uh, bulk lots off of. I will have her link down below also. I, I'm thinking it may have been one of her boxes. And I do the unboxings on my channel when I buy from them. So you can check them out. I keep them educational. I show you how I listed everything and um, pop up screen shares of all of that. This also came out of the new old stock damaged packaging toy box from Donatella Bottolino. And these, I can't recall where I got these, but these are little vintage McDonald's transformers. Uh, fun little items. These do pretty good. Um, price these kind of high. And again, they added to the bundle. So I did do a pretty deep discount just to try to move these items. This is an Arby's 1994 Yogi Bear and Friends Winter Wonderland. The Arby's toy figures seem to do pretty good. Long tail. They take a long time to sell, typically. I have had these forever. I got these a long time ago at a garage sale. So I was really happy to see these go. And oops, so those were the five items that uh, $80 for those. And I got 64. All right. So I recently came into, um, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's an estate sale clean out. And they're just trying to sell out a bunch of the stuff. And I told them I wanted any crafters items that they have. So fabric is one crafting thing that I don't, I know it sells and I know it can sell really well. And I know there's certain vintage fabrics that go for crazy big money because I did a category video on it. You guys should definitely go check that out to see which fabrics are selling for big money. Certain ones, certain brands. 
um, just crazy money. But these are a little bit different. This here is a little quilt. It's just a small like baby doll quilt. And then this is like a pattern for a book. And these are yo-yos. These are uh, for quilting. And I think these are pre-cut for yo-yos, like in the shape of a circle, but not um, made into a yo-yo yet. And yo-yos are used for quilting. So I have a Facebook friend who I know is, um, she likes to sell fabric. And I don't want to measure it. I, I don't have time to measure fabric. I just, it does not interest me. Like, you know how there's things you get excited about? Like, I love selling toys and Christmas items. Fabric, just, I just can't get excited about it. So I would rather pass these things off to another reseller. So I sent her a private message on uh, Facebook and I said, hey, I've got this fabric, make me an offer. So I sent her pictures, she made me offers, and then I put it on Poshmark because I like to keep everything on the platforms. And this also, what I did is five pound lots. So anything on Poshmark that's five pounds or less um, ships for $7.67. And that's a really good shipping price for a five pound package. So that is how we decided to do it. She offered me $40 for this lot and I accepted that offer and got that mailed out to her. And I'm going to show you some of the other fabric sales at the end of the video. Um, here is her uh, eBay store. <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me. <coughs> um, I'm doing a bunch of videos in a row, so I'm starting to lose my voice. Um, Fern Valley Fabrics on eBay. So she is going to take these fabrics and she is going to cut them down into fabric pieces like this and um, sell them in smaller, like she's going to part it out basically. So here is her store. If you guys see anything that you are interested in, she's got lots of really cool fabric. Um, it looks like 124 results right now. And she's got some other things on there besides fabric, but all crafter related. So really a cool idea for a store. She has another eBay store also, but this one, she decided to just do fabric. So let me know in the comments, does anybody else do that where they have a store that is specifically for a certain niche or um, certain items? Is it niche or niche? <laughs> I always say it wrong, so I probably said it wrong. All right. <clears throat> I will try to remember to link her store down below, but if not, you can search it by Fern Valley Fabrics. All right, this is a Shopkins Strawberry Kiss Pillow Buddy. It's a plush pal, and I probably got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. I sold this for $10, and my payout was $7.05. And on that fabric, uh, she paid $40, and then my payout was $32 on that. This is a 2001 Sunoco Safari shuttle, shuttle semi-truck. This came from a garage sale. I can't remember what I paid for it, probably a couple bucks. And I ended up selling this for $27 and my payout was $21.60. The next item is this USA Olympic pin 1994 and 1996 Olympic team five ring pin. This was a long tail item. It took a long time to sell, but my cost of goods was probably pennies. Sold this for $10 and my payout was $7.05. This is a desktop cornhole game. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box. The box was okay and I just was trying to make some of my money back. I only put this on Poshmark um, because I felt like it was something that as I shared my items, that somebody would see it and be like, oh, that's cool, desktop cornhole. It sold for $11. My payout was $6.33. So um, the gal that bought the fabric, she wasn't interested in these four pieces of Christmas fabric, not really her thing. And you can see here, I am so sorry, losing my voice. Um, they're just cut, but I don't know how big the pieces were and I'm not gonna measure it. Um, I just threw it up on um, Poshmark and put 15 bucks on it because this was not even close to five pounds. This was just like, two pounds or less. And it sold super fast. I was super surprised. So I'm kind of excited about that because if she decides she doesn't want any more fabric, 
I feel like I'm probably going to put this stuff on, um, on Poshmark. So if you're interested in pat, uh, fabric and stuff like that, crafters items, definitely follow me over here. I am Bolo Buddies on Poshmark. Uh, so that fabric sold for 15. And again, it was a much smaller lot than I've been selling to her. And I sold that. Um, my payout was $12. The next item came out of a mystery box. Also, just one of those random things that I was like, it's a thrift store mystery box. Should I list these? I couldn't find anything really like it. They're called Play Maddie Starball Pool Pit Balls. They're like little plastic, probably float in the water. I don't know, kind of random. But I decided to list it. I sold those for $10 and I got $7.05. Blaze and the Monster Machine. You guys have heard me talk about these before. I always pick up Blaze and the Monster Machine. This one had a little bit of paint loss, but still they will sell. This sold for $10 and my payout was $5.33. Fruits and vegetables. Okay, so I had a viewer sale. And she purchased multiple items from me. And I'm going to show you what she got. I don't even remember where I got these. I've had these a really long time. They are fruits and vegetables. I, if I remember correctly, I maybe plastic. They're not stone or anything like that. Um, so I had them listed at 19. And they sold for 19. And with uh, I had sent out an offer. And with the shipping, or I'm sorry, with the fee, 20% fee. My payout was $13.48 on that. The next item she bought is this Sunset Santa's Chill Chaser 1998 Vintage Kit. Uh, $14 on that, and my payout was $9.33. She also bought this small crafter's lot of glass seed beads and more, uh, $11, and my payout was $6.33. She got this Disneyland Walt Disney World Piglet Plush. $14 and my payout was $9.33 on that. And I usually pick up my plush for a dollar or less. I think I got this at a garage sale. This Paw Patrol Tracker Vehicle Jungle Cruiser. Uh, probably picked this up at a garage sale as well. Got this, uh, sold it for $12 and my payout was $7.33. And she also bought this little Paw Patrol Racer Rescue Marshall Vehicle Toy for $13 and my payout was $8.33. Most of these toys I pick up at garage sales in small lots or in bulk buys at like different places. Sometimes I get them out of mystery boxes. But anyway, Anna W and it's Lisa W underscore 1959 purchased those items from me. Thank you so much. I appreciate the sales. Just really appreciate you. Uh, super excited to have a viewer sale. And I wanted to share her Poshmark closet. She is newer to Poshmark. If you guys could go and follow her, that would be amazing. I'm going to show you some of the items in her store. If you see something you're interested in, definitely um, go buy it. All right. And I will try to remember to link that down in the description. So I know she made her first sale the other day. This is a big money bolo. I picked this up a couple years ago. It took a long time to sell. I had definitely had to wait on the right buyer. It is vintage Sam band of Iceland Lando Lande. I don't know how to say that wool blanket. I got this for five bucks at a garage sale and I sold this for a hundred dollars and my payout was 80. This lightning McQueen plush it's Disney store. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I do have footage of that in a video. And I sold this for $19. My payout was $13.48. And it's pretty big, so pretty cool item. Monster High Doll, 2011. And I don't remember where I got her. I think I got her with a bunch of Monster High Dolls. I don't know if she's had a haircut or if that's how her hair is supposed to look. Maybe those are just wild bangs. Um, sold her for $12. My payout was $7.33. I think somebody said there's a new Monster High vid, uh, movie coming out. So um, not sure if it's been released or when it's supposed to be released, but that should help the market on these items. All right. Funny story on this one. I was parting out a Lego set and these were just the extra pieces. I took the minifigures and I sold them separately. And I was like getting ready to throw these in a bag to donate. And I'm like, I wonder if I just popped them up on Poshmark and I just put them on Poshmark. If they would sell you guys, I'm not kidding. They sold within like hours of listing. I did not make a lot of money because I listed them at $6 and then somebody liked it and I sent out an offer. 
So uh, I had to do the discounted shipping, discounted shipping, and then the twenty percent fee. I made a dollar thirty three. But hey, it's a dollar thirty three. I was just going to donate it, right? I probably could have put it at maybe ten bucks. I, I don't know, but it sold really, really quick. Maybe somebody needed like this piece here or something. I have no idea. The next item is this Express Men's Button Front shirt. I purchased these at Discount Fashion Warehouse. I used to do clothing full time. That was my thing. I switched to hard goods. Um, if you guys are in Ohio, Discount Fashion Warehouse is a great place to source. I think they're just in Ohio. They may be in one of the bordering states. I'm not 100% sure. You might want to Google it. But if you do clothing, definitely a place to check out. Whoa, my ring light's flashing. Um, they used to have a thing where it would be the tags were different colors and then they would go down to 90% off. It was amazing. I think I paid $3 or less for this shirt and I sold it for 20 Actually, I don't know what I sold it for. I think they sent an offer. My payout was $14.40 on that. Um, Express, new with tags. I mean, it's decent. I, I feel like I make more on Poshmark than I would on eBay. So definitely clothing items. If you're on eBay, definitely get those cross posted to Poshmark and Macari. And again, um, I use List Perfectly to cross post my items. There is a link down in the description of a video that I did. It's a how to video, shows you how to cross post. And if you watch that and you decide you want to try it, you can use my coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. These are Kenneth Cole Reaction Wedge dress shoes. I picked these up at a garage sale. I don't remember what I paid for them, probably five bucks or less. Sold these for $21. My payout was $15.08. These are another item that I got from Discount Fashion Warehouse, and I want to say I paid a buck or two each for these, but I bought probably 30 pair of them, and I'm getting down to maybe 40 pair. I've sold so many. I probably have eight to 10 left, and I have multiple sizes available. Uh, it says I sold it for 16, but it's showing my payout of $7.33. So may have taken an offer on those. It may not show me because this is a multi-quantity item. So maybe I sold them for 12, 14. The next item. Okay. So now we're going to talk about some of these other fabric bundles and the pictures might not be accurate. What I did was I sent her all of the photos and then, um, she told me what she was willing to pay, and then I put them in five-pound lots. So I tried to um, shove as much in a bag and keep it within the dimensions and the weight range to meet that five-pound thing. So this is just fabric that she is going to have to cut and make it pretty. Um, so $30 on that one. And then these were all hearts, which is super, super fun. Um, she should do pretty good on those, probably around Valentine's Day, I would say. Definitely anything Valentine's Day, you want to list a few months ahead of time, especially fabric, because people are probably going to be uh, doing uh, crafts early on because they have to get it finished in time. But I will tell you, my titles are typically more than what I did, and I usually have more than one photo. But... I basically listed the item and sent her the links. So um, here's another lot and another one and another one. And there's a lot here. It um, it'll unfold. These were huge, huge sheets. Um, I'm guessing they came off of like a what do you call it when they're wrapped around that thing? Oh, I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, a bolt. I'm guessing they came off of a bolt. And I was like, these are wrinkled and, you know, they'll probably need washed. I don't know. And she still wanted them. I don't know if they need washed, but um, this was also a part of it. But wrinkly for sure. I don't know if washing and drying it once she breaks them down. I, I don't know how selling fabric works. I don't want to mess with it. So um, here's a little Christmas lot. And this one had um, also this with it. And here, this is a cutter's lot. And I said, I've got these pieces and they're smaller, um, but lots of really cool, fun fabrics. And she said she wanted that also. 
So, I mean, people can make different things with even smaller things of fabric as well. This is a bolt of fabric. So I took it off of the bolt and believe it or not, it was just under five pounds. There was so much fabric on that. And this lot I picked up actually at a garage sale a few days later. So this did not come from that estate, but it's really, really cool because you can see that they are dated. You can see right there, that one says 1998. It's got the original um, receipt on it and it tells that it's one yard. So those will be probably pretty easy for her to list. And I did send her like a bigger shot of pictures. But uh, yeah, so that was fun. I got those at a garage sale. Here is yo-yos and fabric as seen. So here's the fabric. And then these are the yo-yos. It's a bag of yo-yos. And then there was a bunch of circles that were pre-cut that people can make yo-yos out of. And then some extra fabric that matched. Here is another lot. This is the one of the original lots. And she said, I don't want the Christmas fabric. And that was the fabric that I sold separately that I showed you earlier. So I just, excuse me, I just put an X on those and put not included. So this was the bundle for those. And here is a huge lot of fabric yo-yos. Some, most of them are individual, but there were also like three or four of these. And you can see my photo is awful. But again, um, I just was getting these up as quick as possible so that I could get these shipped out to her ASAP. So that was fun. Um, it was actually, uh, I had two huge trash bags of fabric and I do have uh, solid colors. She didn't want the solid colors. So if anybody is a crafter interested in solar, solid colored fabric, I do have five pound, I think I did five pound lots of those. So those are listed in my Poshmark closet. Happy to take an offer, look at an offer. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to check out her eBay store and the other gals Poshmark closet and appreciate those viewer sales. Uh, don't get a whole lot of them. So super exciting when I do and new other videos, subscribe, love for you to subscribe if you're new here and leave me an emoji of a hat down in the comments. Thanks for watching.